starts trolling past, tells us there's some active fish. Let's see what we've got. Large mouth bass. Doesn't feel too big, but we might have judged till I see it. It's right on the break on that tiny structure. And let's see. Oh, we'll lift it. Oh, no, no, can't lift it. Quite lift. Into the net we go. Nice bat. A few pounds. I'm going to release this fish and go back and find the whole school right there. Here we go. Over you go. Let's go catch one in every cast. We've got an anchoring position. So we're into the whole school. Identical bass. The whole school's here. On the bottom. Once you get into a proper casting position, you should be able to catch fish like this, or much bigger every consecutive cast. We've had our limit plus some already today and there's still some fish to be had so let's let this one go also. Spoon plugging does it very easily. Onward. From the high speed spoon plug doesn't take them. You make some cast with a jump lure and sometimes we find a few more limit fish. Another bass. They're all about two pounds. Maybe a bit more. Nice fish. Let him go. We're way over the limit. Got to re-rig that one. He destroyed the worm. Okay. But there's enough dormant fish here. Make this interesting. But very, very tiny. The whole school is piled up in one spot. Maybe it's a little bit bigger. Oh, oh, that's a nice bass. It's bigger. It's better and bigger than the ones we've been catching. This will go four. Beautiful. Probably uh, shows the signs of having spawned. We'll let this one go. Just not distract them. There we go. Well, it's ten fish from one casting position. That's the way it should be. Let's see if there's a few more there.